You're calling. Hi. Hi. Yes. Uh, this is this is your calling. Pick up the phone. Sorry, wrong number. <laughs> oh, okay. Energy. Energy. Bang. <laughs> I'm Abel. And we are Young, Young Dumb, Dumb and Sober. I have a new energy drink today. It is called Bang! I'm wondering what the flavor is. I'm thinking it's probably like a Coca Cola, because what's more American than that? Tweak. <laughs> Tweak. Tweak. It's Tweak flavored. And I have a peppermint tea that I got down the street at Boom Coffee. Oh, wow. I think it's Fruit blueberry. Punch. Oh, no. You don't like it? I don't like it. Not me. Not sponsored. So today we're talking about finding your porpoise. Spoiler alert, it's not under your bed. Or at SeaWorld. <laughs> nope. Okay. Did you get that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I totally get it. Okay. No, I got it. You know, okay. it was uh... I wasn't sure. You yeah. didn't say anything. You did well. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad that you finally sealed that one. <laughs> um... That's all I got. Yeah. Oh shucks. I'm shucking clams. Oh, you're good at this. Ah, um, <laughs> got you. Okay, okay. You're making a real splash. All right. Oh. <laughs> bang, bang. She's okay. getting salty. <laughs> okay. My face hurts. <laughs> Same. Happy Pride. This is the last Pride oh, yes. video of yes. the month. We thought that it was a really good idea to end it on finding your purpose. It is just all about loving yourself for the identity that you have and who you are yeah. and being unapologetically you, which is so big in the gay community, which is so big in the sober community. To thine own self be true. Facts. Oh, fuck. Yeah. That is like this. To thine own self be true. Yeah. Really, when it comes to being proud um, as a sober and recovering individual, and um, as somebody that's part of the LGBTQIA plus queer community, I, I don't know why, queer community, yeah. Um, yeah, you have to be true to yourself and find your purpose and really just go with your calling. Yes. Yeah. It's so elusive to think about, like, what is your purpose? I feel like a lot of my life is spent thinking about, like, what am I put here to do? Like, we have this quote, we, as if we live here, I live here, by Pablo Picasso, who was, like, a sexist asshole, and he was a piece of shit, but, like, still this quote is really great. The meaning of life is to find your gift, and the purpose of life is to give it away. Yeah, and not throw it away. <laughs> One of the things that we thought of when it comes to finding your purpose, go with the flow. If the tide pulls us, we need to go with it. Oh, we're still going with it. <laughs> <laughs> it works, it works. Right. The riptide is trying to pull you away from the shoreline. You're meant to drown. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Sometimes you have to realize that you're not just a wave, you're the fucking ocean. Or just a piece of plastic floating in the ocean waiting to suffocate an animal. Do you Whoa, ever feel okay. like a... It's like going with the flow for me is not putting my hand in the proverbial pot. When I try to make things happen, everything goes wrong and it feels mm. wrong. It takes me to let go and surrender to shit for anything to actually start working out is another way of like trusting the process, having faith. And it doesn't necessarily mean religious faith, that there could be a spiritual component to it, but it's, it's really a matter of saying, I am in the right place at the right time with the right people doing the right thing because if I sit down I meditate on this and I look deep down it feels right and I know that I'm not trying to force anything separating your anxieties away from what it is that you want to do mm. having faith is just kind of like okay I'm not going to identify with really weird and negative thoughts that sometimes like pull us away from the things that we want to do we create our purpose a purpose is not created for you and you're mm. like I have to find it mm. right no you have we have to create our own we have to go where our heart leads us to get there I need to be here mm. That reminds me of something my therapist said today. She said, we are the designers of our own destiny. Like, bitch, yes, now I know why I'm paying you. You know? Yeah. And she's like, time's up. <laughs> Going with the flow would be pretty much like saying yes. Tim Ferriss, have you ever heard of him? He wrote the four hour The work day? Yeah. He said, if it's not a hell yes, it's a no. Girl, that's what I was just saying about like, oh, what do you think about this? Oh, it's good. I don't, right. want, I don't want to hear about it then. If, right. if, if you're going to tell me something's good, I don't move it. Keep yeah. it moving. If I'm thinking about doing something and I'm like, 
wishy-wash relationships, for example. Like, if you're like, I always bring it back to fucking relationships. I have experience, yeah. yeah, wisdom, not so much. Actually, no, fuck that house. I do have some wisdom, and I'm proud of it. I'm not alone. You do, you <laughs> I'm do. I'm alone, but, you but it's okay. Sometimes you're just like, do I like this person? Do I, do I not? And you're like, yeah, there's, there's a time and place to be like, okay, yeah, like, let me give them a chance. But also, if you're thinking about it that much, it's not a hell yes. Mm. You know? Hell yeah. Hell yes. Which would bring us to the next one. Say no. So basically boundaries. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There. Whose hair is that? Your cat's. Oh. I always think of saying no as in when you're called to do something instead of what it is that you want to do. Mm -hmm. Marie Kondo that one. What like, does that if, mean? Is if it doesn't bring joy. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Listen, I'm struggling with all of these. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. A saying no is really hard for me. <gasps> Damn it, why can't I just say things sometimes? I'm not gonna say it has anything to do with being a Libra. Although it is a characteristic of Libra is to be people pleasing. Symptoms. Um, <laughs> hashtag symptoms. Saying no, I think, is about thinking, how is this gonna make me feel if I say yes to it when I know deep down it's going against what I really want to do. And you know what? I don't have too much trouble with if a friend or a coworker like needs something from you and they're asking you like, hey, I really need you to finish this report for me. And first of all, you don't have the time and you're overworked already and you don't even like this bitch. You could say yes just yeah. to like get them off the off your back. To me, that's the perfect opportunity to say no. Like it might be uncomfortable to say no. It might make this person not like you as much in the end. The no that you give them is a yes to you. Right. You know? I find that difficult. Think you think of like a future opportunity, it's like, oh it might affect yeah, like you said, right. like how they think or they won't think that like I'm capable of like mm. doing something the next time because like it's inconvenient now, but like I would like to do that in the future. So it's it's kind of Tough. It's difficult. I think it's about intentions. Like, why am I saying no? Like, am I am I saying no because I I am aware that I don't have the resources to do this and that I'm doing it for the wrong reasons, or am I saying no just because I'm being a twat? Like, like, how dare you even think to ask me? Which right. is not cool. Like, right. sometimes like, I do. No, I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to do it, so I'm not. Because you you're know? in some type of mood, or you're just like, ugh, why do you think I have to do that? Right. Like the humility part, just like yes, humility. Um, what's that? <laughs> what's that? Who shit? Who are um, they? Guess what that is. Oh, Connections. <laughs> Transition. Boom! Connections was the name of the gay club down the street. There was a gay club down the street from here? It was not Connections, it was Switch. Before it was called Connections, pretty sure. And then it was called Switch. Yeah. And then it turned to Tracks. Switch was the fucking, it was the jam. Be the only motherfucking lesbian in there. The right. only person under right. 45 years old. Me, three other gay men, they were all on drugs, the bartender, and we would just be like, what, what are we even doing here? And then I lived here, so weird. Connecting with your, your soul people. Yeah. Saying yes to allowing people to come in to, and help. Today, we yeah. went to the coffee shop talking about the YouTube video that we were gonna film. We run into people, we meet people, and it's it, so it, weird. it happens to us all the time too, but we have this like magic that happens, but it's only when we're together, and we're only together for three hours out of the week. So it's very hard for the universe to make it happen, but when it does, it's wonderful because we just go, we come into these situations where we get put in these situations where people come in our path, and we can, normally we can't see the actual meaning of why it happens, right. like nod from the universe saying like, hey, you're in the right place at the right time, yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah. I, if I didn't have this connection, then the other connections wouldn't be getting creative. I wanted to get ice cream. I didn't want any more coffee today. I didn't want any more caffeine, but we had to go to the coffee shop because Abel wanted ca caffeine. No, he tea. ended up getting like peppermint fucking tea. But I was like, no, I want to get, and you're like, no, get ice cream. You can get like coffee flavored ice cream. I don't want to scoop my coffee. You know? I want to <laughs> sip it. I want something to sip on. Like but then you started bizarre. talking to that guy. He's like, what are you guys, what are you guys talking about? And yeah. We started talking to him and like, we got fired up from having the conversation. That's so true. And he also gave us a lot of really good hints. He really motivated us to just kind of be like, okay, we're, we're doing the right thing. We're on the right path. We do want to spread our message. Yeah. And like have a bigger audience. We're the type of people who like to just share our lives. And Absolutely. like, why not have more people to share it with? Have these conversations going. Keep the connections. Keep, yeah, and yeah. increase the connections. Like, really good to have these types of conversations. And you just kept the conversation going. You're like, here's a connection. I'm going to feed it. And I, I, I like love talking to people. It's so, it's weird. It's like, 
when I meet somebody who I actually like and enjoy and, and, and embody with their energy, it's like I feel off of it. Like, I, I want to know more about them. I want them to know more about me. I want to see how much more we can connect on. And I love when that happens with a stranger because it's like you start talking about one topic and then you tumble into another topic and you're like, damn, we connect on that one too. And then you connect on that one too. And it's like it's going off in all different directions. It just like sparks. I love that, you know, and I think that's part of the reason I love doing this with you. Because it's like talking really fast. Oh my god. I'm fired up. I've had so much caffeine today you and ice cream and I took like a six hour nap for no good reason. Um, and yeah, like I get my energy from people who also Gemini really? Rising. I, oh, it's not the caffeine. <laughs> it's the caffeine and it's the people. I took a test and I'm like right, the epitome, I need you to calm the down. epitome of an extra. There's a lot okay? going on. Like, I, I'm a full blown extrovert. So. Yeah. I'm getting a little nervous. Okay, well, you need like, to, like you're vibrating you, too you, high. You need to like take the energy. Okay, first of all, that is like a lot. You I need feel, to handle it. I feel like burdened with that. It's like it's eight thirty basically. Um, but anyway, yes, she basically talked just about like, connections. Just to just lower my flame. Oh, I would never. Colors do that thing. We wanted to do this other part of the video where we um do like a game of would you rather, like a sober mm -hmm. edition. And part of the making connections is like being your authentic self mm -hmm. because then it only brings more people that are like you into your life and it reaffirms who you already are, which only just fuels the the fire that you have inside. Um, we found our purpose. We did. This is it. But we don't know where the purpose is. Comment like subscribe smash the notifications button after you hit subscribe so you know when our next video comes out no no no, yeah, no. just give it a little yeah. follow us on instagram um okay it's been real it's been fun and it's been real, real fun. fun bye guys bye. see you next week